A devastating levee break in Monterey County that flooded the community of Pajaro. And now, a week later, tensions are rising between residents and local leaders. From KTVU Fox 2 News, this is The Four. Yeah, you could really hear that frustration there today, marking one week since numerous rounds of heavy rain pushed people from their homes in that community there in Monterey County. And this afternoon, those affected by the devastating floods talking with county leaders to discuss the way forward. Welcome everyone to the four on this Friday afternoon. I'm Heather Holmes. And I'm Alex Savage. This afternoon, residents of Pajaro are still not back in their homes and there's no firm timeline for them to return. As KTVU Fox 2 reporter Mark Sayer tells us, that is leading to plenty of frustration. Ruth Ruiz took her concerns to the Monterey County officials who have been giving updates on the progress toward reopening. There were some tense exchanges as frustrated residents asked questions of county staffers who themselves still have no firm answers. It's very frustrating. This is the one of the first times that we have someone from the county actually giving out information. We come here every day for the same reason, trying to get more information and Nobody. It was a week ago, early Saturday morning, just after midnight, that the levee protecting the town from the Pajaro River burst open. That prompted a massive rescue operation and a door-to-door -door sheriff's effort to try to reach everyone who may not have received the message to evacuate. Both the counties of Monterey and Santa Cruz set up evacuation centers, with the largest being at the Santa Cruz Fairgrounds, where at one point, more than 300 people were taking shelter. Now, one week later, the water has receded and street crews are busy trying to clean up the mess. Agricultural fields are also flooded, taking away the jobs of many of this community's residents. But the one thing residents here do not have is answers. Answers as to when they'll be able to get back into the town to check on the condition of their homes, in some cases get medicine, and even check on pets who were left behind during the middle of the night evacuation one week ago. What's this week been like for you? Describe it. It's very hard and difficult because um, we're not allowed to go in. Actually, Actually, today I came with a note from the, the hospital because my mom's hospitalized and she needs her wheelchair to be discharged. And they're not letting me in until someone approves for me to go in there and be escorted to get her wheelchair. It's very frustrating because we need to also start cleaning as well as success. And it's like the longer we are stuck out here, the more damages our house are, are going to have. So it's, it's very, very frustrating. And now residents are looking toward next week when more rains are predicted. And they are wondering if or how additional weather may further delay the return to their homes and to their community. Reporting from Pajaro in Monterey County, I'm Mark Sayer, KTVU Fox 2 News.